ever thought about entering data as an array in Excel? Without typing the data on the cells manually, let's do something new and exciting today with an array using Excel VBA. VBA isn't as scary as it sounds, but it surely is more resourceful than it seems. By the end of the video, prove me wrong if you can. Hello there, this is Fari Hatulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates, and VBA related answers. Here is a data set with the name of 5 students with their obtained marks. Using this, we will learn how to create an array in Excel VBA. We will discuss 4 methods for this using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In our first method, we will create one dimensional array. For that, we need to go to our developer tab. As you can see, there is no developer tab available. Let's add it. Right click on the ribbon and click on customized ribbon. Here, from the main tabs, you can see that there is no check mark. Now we will get our developer tab. Okay, it's available, right? Let's go to it. This tab helps us to write macro codes, use XML commands, ActiveX controls and some actions via Microsoft Visio. Now from the controls group, click on insert dropdown. From the ActiveX controls section, click on command. Now we can get a command button if we add one here. Now we can see command button one. Now right click on the tab and from the context menu, go to view code. It will enable Microsoft Visual Basic for applications window for us. We can see there is a worksheet event that runs whenever the button is clicked within our sheet 2 which is one dimensional. This code will run for clicking on command button 1. This is why the private sub is automatically created. Now we will add an array variable with name to have 1 to 5 entry IDs to work on. Their type will be string so that we can add text and numbers. Now let's add the names for each of the arrays here. We can copy it. Let's add the names as our worksheet here. Now for the output, we will get that in a message box. Let's say the output will be the third entry of our mentioned entries under the name variable. Now save the code and run the code and we can see Miranda. Okay. Let's close the window. Now every time we click on it, we get the student name of our third entry. In this method, we will create array for two dimensional cases. First go to developer tab and from the controls group, click on insert dropdown. Select command from ActiveX controls section again. Let's put it here. Now right click on it and go to view code and we can see that it belongs to sheet 3 and we have added a private sub for this as well. Let's add variables. Names will have rows 5th to 9th and columns 1st to 3rd. T as variable for row number and G for column number. Now we will add two for loops for each of these variables. Name array will bear the entries same as the cell reference corresponding to cell values. Now let's end both for loops. Let's say the output will be the marks of third column for eighth entry, which is for Karen. Now let's save the code and run it. And we can see the output as 92 as our dataset. Okay. In this method, we will use static array to entry the names and scores using macro code. Let's go to developer tab and from the code group, click on visual basic. Now you can use alter F11 to do it using keyboard shortcut. Click on alter IM or from the insert tab, Click on module to insert a module like this. As we are inserting code in the module, 
This macro can be used in all the worksheets of the Excel file. We have copied this code from the article that has been linked below. Here, array type 5 to 9 is for entries within the array value. As the entry of array type variable for the first one, which is the entry number 5, is Anna, and same goes for each of the names. Now, cells.value is to assign these values within the cell reference followed by row number and column number. Now let's run the code within the macro static array. Now we can see each of the student names are added according to our code. Now if we want to add the scores as well, we can use another code which is for the values. We have copied this from the article link as well. Here you can see the numbers are assigned according to the cell references. Here the rows are just as the same but column reference is 3 since obtained marks is in third column. Let's change the sub name like that. Let's run this and we can see the obtained marks are added as well. Creating a static array you have noticed that we had to add different sub for names and scores. What if you can do both of them together? We can do it using dynamic array. Let's go to developer tab and from the code group choose visual basic. Let's insert another module like that and add a code. Now we have pasted this code from the article that we have linked within the description box below. Now you can see that array type is added as a variable and Error type has been assigned with 10 values. These 10 values are correspondingly 5 names and 5 scores, and all of them are assigned to cell value corresponding to row number and column number. It's almost the same way as we described in static array, just that we will have two works done within one sub. Let's run this, and we can see both student name and obtained marks here. Let's close the window. From these methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems, free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share this video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.